Welcome to Top Car Channel. Sometimes car designers are given particularly hard acts to follow. The team charged with creating the first BMW 6 Series Gran Turismo GT, had no such bad luck. To say the outgoing 5 Series GT had as many detractors as admirers is probably erring towards generosity. Yet Bimmer clearly thinks this peculiar market niche is worth another crack. And why not? Between the X4 and X6, Gran Turismo and Gran Coupe models, BMW has sold 1.13 million units. Unusual body types plonked on existing architectures are an easy way to add buyers and pad budgets. There's no sense in denying the 6 Series GT is a more resolved package than its progenitor. It's no timeless beauty, but it's certainly less stylistically awkward, with the G305 Series sedan sleeker nose, less slabby sides and a lower roofline for a sleeker side profile. The frameless side windows are also timeless. At almost 5.1 M long, it's about midway between a 5 and 7 series sedan in length, giving it the imposing presence desired by the target market. Its 3070 mm wheelbase is limo worthy, with every extra bit used to improve rear legroom, something coveted in China, the car's stronghold. Tellingly, you can option the car's iDrive interface in Australia with simplified Chinese language software. Furthermore, that hatchback style boot gives you 40 litres more cargo space than the 5 Series wagon with the 40 hours 20 minutes and 40 seconds back seats in use, and a massive 110 litres more than the 5 Series GT. You'll fit more than just a few golf bags. Hell, you could almost drive the electric cart in. <laughs>